Hi everybody, I'm Natalie with Missouri Star Quilt Company and today on Embroidery 101, we're going to do some French knots. French knots are such great fillers. They're the center of all my flowers. I really just love to use them. They're versatile. You can make them bigger or smaller depending on what look you're going for. So let me turn to the, the French knot page just to be on the right page. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you are going to have a knot in the end of your embroidery thread and come up from the bottom. You'll pull that thread all the way through. Then you're gonna put your needle close to the fabric and wrap it around however many times you want. Typically I go two to three times for um, just your normal sized average little knot. One or two. And then you go back down right next to where that initial thread came through. You hold the thread tight, but not too tight. If your needle's having trouble going through, you're gonna to wanna to loosen it up. And I can, you can do that just by twisting the needle a little bit in the opposite direction that you wrapped it. So when it's, when it's easy to pull through, you're gonna pull it through, and you'll see as you're looking at this here that what you're doing now is making a little loop that holds those stitches in place, just like that. Now, for this big dot, we're gonna make it a little bigger. I'm gonna wrap it around probably four or five times, just so you can see that. We'll go one, two, three, four, let's do five. We're gonna go right back down next to that initial thread, and you can see all the, um, the kind of like makes a, a pile of thread there. Again, if it's a little bit tight, you can back your needle up a little bit by twisting it in the opposite direction until it pulls through. I don't want it to be so tight that I can't get my needle through, but I want it tight enough that the knot looks neat. So I'm just wiggling it through and then just pulling that nice and tight. All right, so I have some cute projects to show you. This one is so cute. Lots of little French knot daisies all over this little hat. Super fun. I've got some here that are parts of flowers on these wildflower blocks. They just go up the, up the leaf or the stem, if you will. Very cute. There's even some in the middles of these to make cute little centers. This one still has its stick and stitch attached, but you can see this fun little fat flower here and these little yellow centers, all that fun stuff. If you enjoyed this video, there's lots more where that came from. I have a whole channel called Embroidery 101 where I teach you what you need to know to get started and also give you tons of tips and ideas to refresh your memory and help you to advance in your embroidery journey. So click the link below and I hope you enjoy. Happy stitching.